Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. We're going to honor the apostles at Ruel. We're going to prophesy the downfall of America, right? And uh, we are here in Arima. We're not in the heart of Arima because they're doing the Christmas shopping for Nimrod, right? So brother, it got the um, got the floor. Right now, we're talking about religions. We, um, that's what we do. We show the people the right way. One of those, one of those wrong ways is what? Christmas. That's right. Halloween. Uh, Carnival. Easter. Um, we know that these, um, these, um, holidays are right. But we call them holidays, right? Come on. Uh, so let me, uh, um, Jeremiah Timbers, too. Just, just for sure. I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. Jeremiah, yeah, so this, this, this whole this whole kingdom we're in is pagan, right? Even the days of the week are pagan. Monday is uh is the day is the God of the moon, right? Moon's day, right? Tuesday is uh is Odin's day. My bad. Tuesday is um is Tuesday. Got it? Yes, Jeremiah 10 verse 2. He said, Thus said the Lord, Learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not, and be not dismay at the signs of the heavens, for the, the heathens are dismay of them. Yeah, come on. So we don't just learn the way of the heathen, like Christmas, right? So I'm going to bring out a document, I'm going to share with the um, Yasharama, to show um, the paganism, paganism of Christmas, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the things at Christmas is what? The Christmas tree, right? It's the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree was the sacred tree of the winter god. The Druids believed the spirit of their gods resided in the tree. <laughs> Most ancient pagans knew the tree represented Nimrod, reincarnation's Tammuz. The pagans also looked upon the tree as a fountain. So Nimrod might, right? He has different names. One of the names for Nimrod would be Odin. Yeah. Right? Odin is the is the father of Dor. He showed you in, a, in, in these Marvel movies, Dor and Odin, right? Um, number two is the star. The star that you on top of the Christmas tree, right? Huh. It's the Pentapha, the five points of star. And, and you heard it, right? You heard what he said. Yeah. That Nimrod represent, that star on the Christmas tree represent Nimrod. Yeah. And the tree represent the valley, which represent the penis. Huh. So when you bend it down for your gift, you worship in the penis, you worship in Nimrod. Yeah. That's that's what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Like, that's why we're not supposed to worship Christmas. Like the old place in uh, Washington, D.C. The big thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, is a powerful symbol of Satan. Yeah, Penta, Penta represents five points. Alright? You see that five points everywhere. Like when the movie starts, you see Paramount with the stars coming in in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That represents Satan. Okay? Right. Second only to the hexagram, the star, the star is the sacred symbol of Nimrod. And that's nothing more serious to do with Christianity. Hmm. So these churches who celebrate Christmas it has nothing to do with your religion. It has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. That's true. Right. And we want to get into that. Right? Fine. Number three, the candles. The candles represent the sun god's newly born fire. Oh. Hey, it's the world. Um, Overlove and use candles in their rituals and ceremonies. Certain colors are also throughout um, um, dark to represent uh, specific, specific say, powers. Uh -huh. The extensive use of candles is usually a very good indication that the service is pagan, no matter what the outward trappings might be. Come on. Right, so, you put down the candles, right? Um, four things in this yeah. very pagan. Um, this stuff. Uh, right, so the Miso is a sacred plant of the Druids, symbolizing pagan blessed fertility. Thus, kissing under the Miso is the first step in a reproductive cycle, which is also used to white berries and potions. Yep, so, you know, in other words, the Easter, the Easter of the fertility goddess represent the fertility, fertility goddess and, and so on. It's the same thing with Christmas. That's what, that's what that Mr. Toe represents. 
you know, which is really demonic. It's really demonic, man. Because really, truly, none of this go back to the scriptures. You know, but what it what it could do, what it could do, it could debunk all that bullshit of Christmas. Because he got the scriptures to back it up. You understand? And Jeremiah 10 and so on. When you go to Deuteronomy and search Leviticus, certain chapters, it would it would mash up this fucking fable ass Christmas, man. Bullshit. Go ahead. And uh, if you go back, it says, Jeremiah 10 and 10, it says, Behold, I will send the prophets among you, symbolizing pagan blessed utilities, right? You see a lot of these cartoons and movies. The Ujjani has a lot of sexual huh. They have lots of messages. Right, right. That's one of the things that the Ujjani is about. Yup. And it's a Christmas. Yup. Right? Because this, 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 this kingdom and everything is all sexual, man. Yeah. You know, sexual. Like, yep. the, like, like the Yuli, like the Yuli, like the Yuli. Yeah, we're going to break down the Yuli, which goes back to popular little innocent boys. You understand? Something earlier, going back to popular little boys, man. Alright? Alright? Alright. Alright, the reefs. The reefs are circular. And so they represent the female sexual organs. Once again, um, reefs are associated with fertility and circle of life. Um, number six, Santa Claus, right? Uh, Santa Claus, Formis and Tannis have spoken that Santa, Santa is an anagram for Satan, right? The names, the names for the same thing, it's just twisted around. In the new age, God, Sinat, and Kamuru is most definitely an anagram for Satan. The mythical attributes and powers ascri uh, as ascribed to Santa are eerily close to those possessed by Jesus Christ. Like I said, churches, they believe that Christmas, December 25th, 25th, is the birth of Jesus. It's just not his name, by the way. It's not even his name, it's just his hell Jesus. Right? And, and Christmas has two meanings, man. Christmas has two meanings. It's the way you want to interpret it, I guess. But it, Christmas is really a demonic ass word. You know, it's a, it's a massacre for, uh, for Yahweh Shai or mm -hmm. Christ, right? That's the word call him, right? Or, uh, a, uh, a big mass for the Antichrist. That's right. You know, right. it's still demonic e either way. Right. You understand? It's still demonic e either way. Right. So we're not supposed to celebrate that bullshit, man. Fuck Christmas, man. Right. And we we won't get deeper into it. Right. There's a Judges chapter 8, verse 32 to 34. And this, you know what they say, maybe the brother bring it out to us Christmas and thing? We'll turn him and worship him and another God that is in God in Israel. He said, um, Judges 30, uh, chapter 10, verse 33. Yeah, it came to pass, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel turned again and went out, listen to the words, and went out, whoring hmm. after Baalim hmm. and made Baal Barat. Yeah, Baal. Yeah, God, yeah. Baal, like he said, that's another name for Nimrod. God. Right? He has different names. And, and, Baal, and Baal Barat also means the God of the community. Yeah, you understand? You got niggas that, oh, my, my community, my community, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bullshit, man. Fuck the community, man. Fuck the community, man. This is the real community right here, man. This is the real, this is the real uh, brotherhood right here, man. Right, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, they got an uh, associate, builders association and all that bullshit, man. Fuck that shit, man. You go back to Bob Barath. Go ahead. Yeah, and verse 34. And the children of Israel, like what we see in our mind right now, Remember not the Lord, their power, who has delivered them out of the hands of the enemy on every side. So what happened back then is happening now. There's nothing new under the sun, right? Um, now, we're, now we're talking about the reindeer. The reindeer are horned animals representing the horn god, or the stag god, a pagan religion. Santa's traditional the number of reindeer, but it seems it's eight. The satanic Tria, eight is the number of new beginnings, or the cycle of reincarnation. The Illuminati views number eight as a symbol of the new world order. Right? Eight. Uh, yeah, eight. That's wrong. The octagon. The octagon is eight. You understand? Let's the word October. Octagon. Octopus. You know? Okay. Goes back to eight. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the new world order is just a Yep. All right, the elves. The elves are implied creatures who so are... We broke down the word star earlier. Yeah. Star goes back to the word Satan. Mm -hmm. You know? 
Pentagon. Pentagon has what? Five points. Five points. You know what I'm saying? The Illuminati run that. Uh, the, the Illuminati uh, army is what? It's in America, man. Uh, you understand? Uh, so his, his monetary system is what? It's in England. Right? Uh, um, his um, religious establishment is in what? It's in Vatican. Uh, you understand? Uh, the elites run this fucking world, man. Uh, That's what it says in Job 924. The earth is given to the hand of the world. Uh, uh, so if he, if Yahweh has righteous uh, feast days and so on, Satan will have to have his own holidays. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Christmas is one of them, man. Yeah. Fuck Christmas, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. When are you jealous of? Did you see how it is? And you know what, brother? I'm glad you said that because yeah. it's, a, it's a spirit of giving. Yeah. Now, when you when you rent something in courts, when you purchase something in courts, what they give you? A high interest rate. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a spirit of giving, why they give you high interest rate? Usury, yeah. Usury, yeah. 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 Why the fuck would they give you 80%? So, it, in other words, Christmas really is there to give you uh, 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 it's economic a bondage. Yeah, to keep you understand? 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 We are not supposed to do that in, in Israel, mm -hmm. right? So it's the Eden. This is the Eden custom. Yeah. So fuck Christmas for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this whole entire thing is about, about Christmas and giving. Hey, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, tell us how to do our giving. Say, so listen, go into your secret closet, right? Pray secretly, give secretly, and the most I will reward you openly. That's right. Right? So this, this kind of... Cooking up uh, and going out and sharing public. Hey, this is just a show. <laughs> you know, they create a they create an illusion. Yeah. You know, that, that you being charitable. Hmm. You know, when it's charitable wickedness. Yeah. You know, they're just sharing wickedness. Because it's when the so-called new year coming back. You have to pay interest. You won't be rolling your head as we know it up. Uh, you know, they say when, when the month of January break is the hardest month. Yeah, you know man. why? Because everybody broke as fuck. Because they use up everything yeah, yeah. in the wicked, yeah, yeah. in this wicked ass month. Yeah, they all, they all know? dried up in January, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, they all yeah. dried up. And financial yeah. bonding. And when, when, when Christmas done, carnival coming right up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I want to pick up again. Yeah. 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 So we're just keeping in, second money. Second thing, chapter 17, verse 15. Right, he said, and they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their father and his testimony which he testified against them. Mm -hmm. And right. they followed vanity and became vain right. and went after the hidden that were wrong about them right. concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. Exactly. Right. So, right. A lot of these super cool who ask them why celebrating Christmas. Do you know what it's about? Hmm. They, they, they just do to fit in. They don't know what Christmas <laughs> is about. Yeah. You know what they do for the partying and all that. But most high he gave us feast days. He gave us Purim. Right. He gave us right. Passover. Feast of dedication. Right. They don't want to celebrate that. Yeah, they put it down in, uh, in uh, Leviticus 23. Yeah. Yeah, Leviticus 23. You're going to see the Feast of Dedication in Leviticus 23 because that came later on. You understand? That right. came during the Maccabee right. revolt. You understand? Mm -hmm. During when Antiochus was ruling when he invaded the sanctuary, man. Right? Mm -hmm. Put pork and all different vile and abominable things in our sanctuary. So what? We got our sanctuary back, you know? And we, we fixed it up and, and so on, so on. So that's the piece of dedication, man. Right? Right. You understand? That's the piece. You ain't gonna catch that in the list. Right? You know what? Right. You ain't. And our, our God is so good, yeah? Yeah. And even give us a DRS. Yep. Which, which, which is the part in this system we are the arrest? Yeah, yeah. eh? In this wicked system. We are not the arrest in this system. <laughs> Our feet are to keep going. Every day we have to go out there and look for bread. Because yeah. most I say, watch me, six days or they work on the seven day, take That's a rest. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Are we yeah. on that? You want to finish it? Yeah, we got to bring those documents. So documents are very important. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. history and knowledge is very important. Very important. Right. Yeah, and that's what... I uh, can't believe they should advocate. I well, can't believe they should advocate them history, them knowledge. Man. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Because we're here to, to, to correct and, and, and to wake up our people God. to who they are. That's so right, know God. history. That's so how I always say that, man. If you, if you don't, you ain't know, you don't know the Bible, you don't know history, man. You don't know history. <laughs> you got to get deep in that history, man. Yep. got to get into that. Go ahead.
Yeah, so um, number nine, green and red are the traditional colors of the season. And as they are the traditionally paid colors of winter, green is Satan's favorite color. So it is appropriate, it should be one of the traditional colors of Christmas. They say green is what? Say the favorite colors? Huh. And you know what? When you see a Rastafarian flag, what do you see? Yeah, green, 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 and yellow. And in fact, the honey, wait a minute, that's true. They had the green on top, yeah. the yellow, and the red. Yeah. Well, go ahead, son. Green at the top, I get slapped. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Green and red? All right. Yeah, green and red. Green and red are the traditional colors of the season, as they are the traditional painted colors of winter. Green is Satan's favorite color. Wow. So it is appropriate. It should be one of the traditional colors for Christmas. Red is the color of human blood. Hmm. Satan's yeah. highest form of sacrifice. Woo. For this reason, communism adopted red as its main color. Wow. 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 Yeah. I think going back to the Rosses, I think uh, red is the blood of the land. And green is the vegetation. Mm -hmm. that's, that's their meaning. Of yeah, that's their meaning, but it's really demonic. And yellow is for sun. Really demonic. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I just want to share something right back. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I was reading up on an article yeah. where they talk about Christmas in Neverland, the Netherlands now. And in Christmas in the Netherlands now, they have something called, well, what we know as Santa Claus now. Yeah, yeah. But they call him Santa Claus. I don't know how they pronounce the name. But he has, he don't have elves. You know, he has, he has slaves. He have slaves, and one of the slaves, let us call him the Swante P. Hmm. You understand? With the slave have a collar around his neck, and he working day and night. His skin always dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty, 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 dirty. Wow. Yeah. He's a perpetual yeah. slave, man. Huh? Yeah, he's a perpetual can, slave. Can, 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 yeah. And, and, and they call him you now, in the Netherlands, what does he do? They, 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 uh, they, have, they dress up children like the, the, uh, the Swante P. And they and they and they have they have them all looking dirty and thing. Well, even white people take part of the same thing too. But actually, when they portray it, is a black slave now that went to in the Netherlands and thing like that. Uh, and he was a slave because he, with the showing here, the real story of the story of the arms one. The people had a collar round his neck and he owned by this demonic man they call it Santi, not Santa Claus, but it's Santi Claus in yeah, in their terms now. Yeah. And he has a demonic fish hat. Like all the pork way? Yeah, yeah. That's good info. That's good info. Yeah. Good info, bro. That fish goes back to take on. That's what it's about, man. Bringing out information, you understand? Bringing out the info. Yeah. Info is very important. We are here proclaiming this truth. Alright. 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 December 25th is known as the Nativity of the Sun. The date is the birthday of Tammuz, which mm -hmm. is Nimrod. The Sun, the reincarnation of the Sun God. Traditionally, this December 21st is known as Yule. The Roman Catholic Church moved the celebration of Yule to December 25th. Um, December 25th is also known as to the Romans as Saturnalia, a time of deliberate debauchery, drinking through uh, repeated toasting known hmm. as Wassily, was the key to the debauchery of the celebration. Fornication was symbolized by the mistletoe, an entire event was finished. Um, with a great fig, feast, the Christmas dinner. So it goes back to Saturnalia. And Rome is America. America is a reincarnation of Rome, right? So since Joe Nazi was born, there was kids had wiki, white man, right? Done. So back then, Esau was celebrating at Saturnalia, but now they're celebrating as Christmas. It's the same thing. Uh, well, I want to introduce yeah. something. Hey, brothers and sisters, this is a book called The Roman Empire. You know, what Constantine did, he incorporated paganism with, with religion or Christianity and, and brought it into one. You know, that's why these churches all popped out over Christmas right now. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to bring something real quick. This is um, the Roman Empire, and I'm going to read something about Constantine, all right? Constantine and Christianity. And so the truth is that Constantine had already adopted the new faith. He adopted the what? Adopted the new faith. faith. But the scripture no. says to follow what? The old path. God. You know? It said, um, this dude was wicked, man. And yeah, he was a jake. He was an Israelite. He was an old white man. Yeah. You understand? It said, the truth is that um, Constantine had already adopted the new faith in, in 312. When he had seen a vision of the cross in the sky shortly before the victory of Melvinian Bridge. Yet there is a clear evidence that Constantine did, did not at once exclude, did not at once exclude worship of the old gods. Yeah. Imagery of the sun, sun cult continues to appear on his coinage 
up, up, up to the year 320. It is likely that until 312, Constantine was a regular worshiper of the sun god and the supreme <laughs> deity. Mm, so Constantine was a wicked ass motherfucker. Yep, right? Wicked, dude. You understand? So this is a document you can find online. It says the real secret of Constantine and the Bishop of Rome in the iconic introduction of the sun worship and paganism into Christianity. It was those done so shrewdly that incredibly it has been veiled within the faith of the century. Through Constantine and paganism and Christianity joined hands in the Roman Empire in history, readily records that Constantine was a sun worshiper. Then we just backed it up in a, in a, yep. a Roman. Was that the Roman Empress? Oh, well, right, right. right? It said, was a sun worshiper and one of the creed he declared. Right? It said, he made this decree in honor. He made this, this decree in the honor of the sun after he supposed conversion of the Christianity. Constantine, even after the conversion, remained a pagan. Right? Constantine sought to unite his kingdom, pagan and Christian, Christian worshiper, in order to promote stability and to ensure that his empire lasted. The easy way to bring harmony would be to blend sun worship and Christianity. Wow. Woo. Yeah. And another, another thing too, when you see pictures of um, this white Jesus, they always had the halo, the sun, on their head. Right. That's right. Uh, That's right. Mm -hmm. Uh, in other words, he, in other words, what? Constantine being an Israelite, yep. you know, he know that he is an Israelite, and he take the custom of roots and blend it with paganism, paganism. The, 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 the way of the Greeks. That's right, you know? huh? You know? That's right. Yeah. That's what they call the Roman Greco Damn. Empire. You understand? You know? Yeah. You got something you want to bring up? No, no. Uh, number 12. Even the name Christmas is pagan. Christy means Christ, while Mass means Mass. So all pagan Masses are commemorating death. The name Christmas literally means the death of Christ. Uh -huh. A deeper meaning lies in the mention of Christ without specifically, I mean, specifying Jesus. Thus, Antichrist is the new people here. The pagans celebrate Christmas. As a, as a celebration, they're coming Antichrist. Yeah, because if you ask Moses, if Moses was in front of us, you, hey, you celebrate Christmas, what the fuck? Christmas, what the fuck is Christmas? You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you ask, if you ask um, Joshua, Caleb, Eleazar, if you ask Isaiah, Jeremiah, Hosea, Micah, they're going to like, what the hell is fucking Christmas, man? <laughs> and he asked you how was what the hell is Christmas, man? Huh? Even the apostles, huh? exactly. the yeah. even the apostles. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What the hell is Christmas, man? Christmas? What the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was researching some info, like back in around um, where around the apostles' time when they were going out teaching and teaching, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, this, this same Christmas holiday was around and they was trying to get the Israelites coming back to keep the holiday rolling, mm. right? And they were rebelling against the Israelites that don't want to go back. Come. And the Israelites that who take, accept it, go back the wicked ass Israelite, right. and they was uproaring now. So what they do, because they was blending, they were trying to blend it together. They mm -hmm. say Christmas and the, the pagan, and, yeah. and Yahweh yeah, Shai there. That's right, that's right. You know? yeah. So the apostle, they wasn't with it. That's right, that's you know? yeah. beautiful info. Bro. Have a quick yeah. yeah. again. Yeah. This is Judges chapter 2 verse 17, right? Eh? Yep. You see, yet they would not hack me. Unto their judges, the judges of course in this time, we are the righteous judges, you understand? Mm -hmm. We judging rightfully. Right. We right. condemning Christmas according to the scripture. You understand? They, uh, yet they would not hearken unto their judges, who their judges the man of the Lord, but but they went a foreign after another God and mm -hmm. bowed themselves like the elder was just bringing out the bowing themselves before that Christmas tree. Right. That erectiveness. That what I do, you know what I'm saying? Worshipping a, imagine you reach so far, you worshiping a penis, man. Really? <laughs> yeah. And bow themselves unto them and turn quickly out of, out of the way which their fathers walk in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yes, man. Let me bring in a little small info before the brother continue reading. It said, um, for this reason, he persuaded, which is Constantine. For this reason, he persuaded Christian church to drop ancient, uh, ancient biblical Sabbath. So that bitch ass comes to team. He, 
he made the people drop biblical Sabbath. The Sabbath is what? It's, it goes by the lunar moon. When the new moon come, come in, that's the first Sabbath. Right? Seven days after that, that's the next Sabbath. On Sabbath. Seven days after that, it's the next Sabbath. You know, but Constantine, he made the people drop the biblical Sabbath. What? what? Sunday worship. Mm. This dude was wicked, man. Yep. Yes, they, they was the first prophecy. Yeah, they was the uh, first popes. Yeah, but they was wicked as hell. Yep. You know, doing Nicaea 325. I mean, they established all. Oh, they, they 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 put it down, man. They say, hey, this, hey, Christmas is, is the shit. Uh, Christmas is the day we gonna uh, work on yeah, uh, yeah. uh, praise uh, Christ uh, and so on, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's but you're going out. Okay. It said on um, the church. No, before you continue reading, yeah. right? Go ahead. In, 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 in um, the book of um, Nature Knows No Color Line, That's right? That's right. It, it has Rabbi's Day. And what did Rabbi's them do? They said, they said, as long as you're a human, we all could come together and build this religion, Christianity, Judaism, mm -hmm. the, the, the Muslim, everybody fall under Christianity. That's right. Right? So they share wickedness with. The, Christianity is the most demonic religion it have upon the face of this earth. Yeah. That's true, because it really goes back to um, um, Tower of Babel. God. All the people would come together and, and build this building to reach up the heavens. God. You understand? Okay. I got 50 seconds. This is 1 verse 11. It says, in those days when they're out of Israel, wicked men, we persuade many. <laughs> Say, let us go and make a covenant with the Eden <laughs> that are formed about <laughs> us. <laughs> no? right. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Right. No. So Constantine was what? That, he, that was, he was a man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Constantine. You know, uh, in, a, in a modern term, a kind of way. You understand? Yeah. You know, he departed from the law and made a covenant with, 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 with the Hebrew. Yeah. You know, the with, with, with their gods. Yeah. And, and incorporated. The Made a sacred uh, day with what, with of Vegas. Sunday largely because it was the weekly festival of the sun. But it was a definite Christian policy to take over the pagan festivals in there to the people by tradition uh, and to give them a Christian significance of Pope Sylvester. Pope Sylvester 314 to 335 finally made Christian Sunday keep an official by decreeing that the rest of the Sabbath should be transferred to the Lord's Day Sunday. Mm. Mm. Perhaps this was Constantine the Rome of uh, crowning a uh, conspiratorial victory, sneaking sun worship into Christianity by exchanging the true Christian day of worship for the day of dedicated to the ancient sun worship. Constantine and Rome did change history. They changed history, right? right. They changed it up, man. Huh? Understand? That's why these motherfuckers in these churches, the Orthodox, the Seven Day Venice, uh, the Roman Catholic, uh, the Nazarene Church, um, all and Muslim, all of them is bought the fuck out, man. You understand? Because of this fucking Constantine, man. You understand? Doing that council, doing in the sea of 325, man. And now with the scripture says, Deuteronomy, see, and there they will shall serve other gods, even wood and stone. Mm. He said, God, that your forefathers knows nothing about. Yep. Jerry, you said that. 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 One, I right, well, hit the three, everybody say together, all right? You two, uncle, yeah. all right? Because you said, you, you know, I know you ain't too crazy about seeing, but the word, but the word fuck is really a good, you know, it's not a bad word. Five, all right? Yeah. So, Amos 521. Fornication and the consent of the kings, I guess, was your king. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, one, two, three, fuck Christmas, That's man. That's right. That's right. I see That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was really yeah. sweet. Right. Amos 5.21 I hate, I despise your feast days mm. and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. So that, that's just proof that the holiday is Christmas, right? Uh, every, every other holiday. Uh, Mandiva? What do they have next? They have more? No. Uh, yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah. All right, uh, it says, this is a different article. 
Um, it says when you sit down and analyze the yeah, draft. Hold on, hold on. Let's not break down those now. Because we got yeah, we got, got, we more. got, got yeah, more. Yeah, we got a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Spurs said, nah, those don't ignore it, man. Because this, was this is going 21. on today got it, got and tomorrow and fucking <laughs> New Year. Come on, bring it out, Al. See, I hate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! <laughs> That's the spirit, huh? That's the spirit, huh? <laughs> yeah. Fuck Christmas! Fuck Christmas, man. I hear it. I despise your feast. And fuck that niggas that celebrate Christmas, man. That's right. Most That's like right. coming for you. Yeah. It's a sword. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Yeah. Yeah, the most I say you smell that solemn assembly, man. Right? Because that, they got that, um, that song, I think, you know it. I want my pork for my... What is that? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, you want to be soft. I want to be soft. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I want a piece of pork for Christmas, man. Christmas, you know, most of I ain't smelling that shit, man. Nah. Even if you eat a dare meat, if you eat dare meat or, or clean meat, the most I say ain't smelling that. Nah. Because your heart is for what? For, the, for Nimrod Day, man. Nah. Nah. Your heart is for Nimrod Day, man. Nah. Right? Nah. So, even if you clean meat or unclean meat, the most I say ain't nah. smelling that shit, man. Nah. Yeah, yeah, nah. Because nah. your intention is wicked. Yeah. Your intention yeah. is yeah. wicked, man. Yeah. Nah. Boy, nah. Though ye offer me born offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Yep. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of yeah. your fat beasts. Yeah, the most I say he can regard it of your fat beasts, man. Uh. What, what's the number one fat beast you got on that table? Is that damn pig, man, that's fucking swine. Uh. And an apple in his mind with a apple in his mind with a shiny glazed ass yeah, sticking bro. it up in the air <laughs> with his <laughs> point point tail, man. Fuck that niggas, man. Okay. Most I say he's smelling that shit. God. The apple in the mouth. Yeah. Go ahead, See, uh. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. Uh huh. No? Yeah. Yeah. We just. We, we, yeah. We, what song was that? Uh? Yeah. Knows? The pork. You bring on the pork. Yeah. That. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. Parang yeah. singing. That yeah. spirit of Christmas. That parang yeah. singing. That thing. Yeah. But I just really say, take thou from me the noise of thy songs. Yeah. That's right. Most. Most yeah. Harry joining them wickedness at all. That's right. That's right. And your brothers gotta be careful. Y'all won't be seduced by your own ladies too, man. Because your your woman wanna go out on that on that day. Yeah. Yeah, why why we gotta go on that fucking day? Why we can't go on the day after? Can't. Why we gotta hang out on that on um, particular fucking day? Can't. You understand? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta watch out for your ladies, man. She can seduce you. You understand? Oh, oh, baby, can you give me a new panty set and, and so on, so on, so on? Why, why I gotta oh, I gotta buy your fucking garment on that fucking day, man? Can't. You understand? Can't. Watch out for your ladies, man. All right, you can't be a yes man to your wives all the time, man. Sometimes, hey, you gotta say, fuck, hell no. Sometimes you gotta tell her, hell no. No, fuck it. And sometimes <laughs> when you give your wife discipline, she'll respect you more. Uh, when nah. you continue to be a yes, 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 yes man, come on, man. She's she gonna run over you. Yeah. She gonna yeah. run over you, man. She's gonna take no. your shabazz and put it in your huh? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. earrings, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's she gonna go to work and say, look at my new earrings. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Bling, bling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this right now. Yeah. Uh, this morning I was in the market. And this guy was work with me. The guy that we roll over by you there. Yeah. He saw me. We um. Hey, I wanted to ask this son. I wanted to call him, but I didn't have no credit. I saw him. I walk over to him. It all gritty and thing. He was like, ah, hey, I want you to come over by me tomorrow. I said, no, I ain't coming to keep no fucking Christmas with you. Yeah. Hey, we no, 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 it's not about Christmas. Mm -hmm. I, I was talking to my wife about this scripture and this thing, and, you know, I, and I really like it. So I want you to come and, you know, with the brother yeah. and, you know, edify us. Yeah. I said, yeah, but I ain't coming and no. eat up and drink up no, no, no shit. I ain't coming with no intention about Christmas. Yeah, Just yeah. keep that in your, your head, right? Yeah. When I come there, I bring in the, the sword. Right. Right. You which, know? Is, which is the scripture, the word. Yeah. Yeah, because that's seducing spirits heavy yeah. around this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No? You know? He, he, will, tell you, he uh, will come and tell you, yeah, yeah. well, you have a piece of sweet bread now by the time, mate. Yeah. <laughs> and then you want some to drink, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all of us are being I mean, even, 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 even you do drink on Christmas, <laughs> we all know what our purpose is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the scripture said it's beautiful when brethren draw together in unity. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't see yeah. each other all the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So we do drink on that particular day. Hey, man, we just. Hey, yeah. It just happened to fall on that day. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was shy till he decide for them when he come on. Um, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Mm. You yeah. know? And that's to do the will of the Father. Yeah. Yep. That's right. No? Yeah. That's right. Yep. I think that's on John chapter 4, right, brother? I think it's John chapter 4, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me see real quick. John, hey, I got you, brother. Uh, this is John 4, to back up this brother, right? It said, um, I start at third. I start at thirty-one. In the mean, 
In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. <laughs> so this is the back of this brother, right? I'm going to finish it. They say, therefore, said the disciples one to another, has any man brought him aught to eat? Man, your house shall said unto them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me right. and to finish his work. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's a beautiful scripture that we're going to call out. You know, so we got to finish this work. We got to finish this work. Because Yahweh uh, as Paul was coming to the spirit, Yahweh Shai said, follow me as I am in what? In Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, so we have to come out here and proclaim this truth, man. No matter what day it is, man, we got to proclaim this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. right. Yeah, going back to Christmas. By the way, if anybody got a, something to say. Oh, this is a few more facts. You're right. All right. It says, when you sit down and analyze the various pagan religions that spread throughout the ancient world, you quickly realize that all of them can pretty much be traced back to ancient Babylon and to a handful of characters. All right. Uh, so I'm bringing out Genesis chapter 8. Yeah. And another thing is, too, right? Uh, they say it was in December 25th. There were sheep's out in the house I was born. Yep. Sheep can't be out when there's snow. And it, when, it, when, it, when it, the snow's falling. Kind. So, huh? yeah. Kind. Yeah. Uh, Genesis 10 verse 8. Genesis 10 verse 8. <clears throat> and, and it was the book of Genesis chapter 10 verse 8. And Cush begot to memorize. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. That's right. That's it. That's it for that precept, right? All right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's just showing that Nimrod's in the Bible, right? He was, he was a headlight, like a Kushite, right? My bad, a Kushite. Yeah, a Kushite was, yeah, Kushite was God, there. Right? They considered Ethiopian, right? Yeah. Uh, so called Ethiopian. All right? The word Ethiopian comes from the word Ethops, which means black. Uh, you understand? It says Nimrod was also known as Marduk in Gilgamesh, and after his death, he eventually came to be worshipped as Baal, Osiris, Apollo, and many other sun gods. Hmm. Nimrod was exceedingly wicked, and he even married his own mother. Hmm. Her name was Seramesis. Hmm. So, uh, so I'm bringing you Jeremiah 44 17. Right? Seramesis is in the Bible. Ishtar, Queen of Heaven. The same thing. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 24, 17. Like you have the Greek gods and you have the Roman gods. You have Zeus and you have Jupiter, but it's the same, it's the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and, and that's what they say. They say they, they saying that, 17. especially the, the Kemet. Jeremiah 24, 17. The Kemet and Kemet organization of Black and Conscious saying that Yahweh the word for Yahweh came from Nimrod and Tammuz. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Yeah, they're saying that uh, they don't believe in Yahweh because the uh, the birth came from uh, Nimrod, Tammuz, and Saramis. Yeah, madness. madness, man. Get out of here. Get out of here with yeah. that bullshit. Huh. Okay. Yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. You see, Jeremiah 44, verse 17. Yep. Yeah. But will we certainly do whatsoever thing going forth out of our mouth? To burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done. We and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. Continue on. Yeah, let's sit on that. They were worshiping. Queen of Heaven now, and it was worshiping her back then. Kind. And another example of Ishtar is the Statue of Liberty, kind. and um, out there in New York, right? That represents Ishtar. Yep. And she has the halo, of the sun. It's more sun worship for the Statue of Liberty. That's right. So That's right. Illuminati, they have their their, their symbolism everywhere. Yeah, every, every damn yeah. world. And when you and also when you uh, go to Starbucks, they coffee is the Dagon God.